Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing Deep Rock Galactic. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zarel. Let's get to it. All right, so today we're looking at how to get a data rack. And before we get into that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as Boy, soon as they go live. Fun. So let's get Rock into it. So if you're a new player, the first thing you want to do is unlock the assignment board. And in order to do that, you'll have to do that list of 10 assignments, which will introduce you to some of the different levels that are available in Deep Rock. Now, after you have the assignment board unlocked, you can go there and you can unlock various things uh, depending on your player rank, your minor rank, and... Uh, other such things. Anyway, once you get the assignment board unlocked, then you'll want to unlock Industrial Sabotage. So I think it's a set of three assignments that you'll have to do, and then you'll have it unlocked. And then you'll go into the Industrial Sabotage like I have here. So the primary objective is to hack the power stations, and that's the first step. So you have this giant thing that's inside of a shield that you cannot get to because there are power stations that are keeping a force field around it, and you have to take out the power stations, uh, but you can't destroy the power stations, you have to hack them. Now, one of the things you'll notice about the level is that um, it's a little underwhelming in terms of what you're going to uh, find there. There's some minerals there, gold uh, and nitra, but really not a whole lot. So it's kind of like a little bit of this. Um, you'll be able to find... A decent amount of nitra and gold which is a good thing because you'll need the ammo and supplies so once you get into the level make sure you scout out those resources gold and nitra gold of course will get you more money at the end of the mission and nitra will help you resupply uh, for your grenades ammo and then any kind of movement uh, skills that you have so zip line or drilling or what have you platform gun so even though the levels are all procedurally made uh, there are some constant so you're going to have that main part uh, the main objective under the force field and you're going to have two power stations so you go to the power station and of course you'll be wanting to keep a lookout for enemies now because of this level you're going to have in general fewer bugs and you're going to have more uh, robots from the rival company you're cute, but you're dead. so in order to find the power stations you'll go to uh, you know the main objective which has the force field and then you're gonna look for power cables the power cables are gonna lead you to the power stations when you get to the power station then you'll go to the power station itself and there'll be a prompt that comes up to bring in a hackbot so it'll bring it in kind of like a resupply uh, but you don't get to say where it's going to be at and it doesn't drop necessarily close to that power station so you go to the hackbot and you're going to connect that to the power station so there's going to be a direct line between the two and hopefully it is more or less uh, in a straight line uh, where you don't have a lot of uh, different terrain. You'll see in this video, 
one was that way and one was not. So once you do one power station and you get it hooked up, you start hacking, and then that is when you're going to be drawing in the bugs. So if you've not dealt with the autonomous enemies, uh, certainly you'll want to do that before you start hacking the power station, because then you'll be getting hit from two factions instead of just one. So the bugs will come in, and the bar will fill up, and if they attack the hackbot, then it's going to stop, and you're going to have to clear it out, and then you're going to have to restart it. So try to keep the bugs away from the hackbot at all costs, and that will expedite the process. Once you have it hacked, that one will power down, go to the next one, do the same thing there, and then it will be on emergency power, which is basically powered by a battery. You take out the battery, and then you have the boss fight. The boss fight is like basically all other boss fights where you're able to uh, not damage it. It's going to be immune until you take out whatever protection it has, which is represented by the yellow bar. And then you will be able to damage it. There's going to be a lot of protectors, and as the health gets lower, there will be more and more uh, types of protection, and it will become more and more intense. Now, if you're doing it by yourself, hazard level 2 is recommended. If you're doing it with friends, uh, you, know, you can certainly do it on a higher level, hazard level, and... The higher the hazard level, you know, the the more dressed to the nines you want to be. You know, you're going to want a higher tier main weapon, side weapon, perks unlocked, etc. So that this will go as easy as possible. And like I said, do make sure that you have enough nitro so you can bring in the resupply as needed or as anticipated but that's it once you do all that once you take out that main boss he will drop the data rack which is the piece that you've been looking for and then tie it on to your mule call for the drop pod and get out and you're done well, I hope you enjoyed this video be sure to check us out on social media and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you next time. I think we're actually doing all right so far.
mean, lean, killing machine now. I'm a jock, not a geek. Worse, Haxing. No. Oh, let me add whoever this put this thing together. Support. We're gonna need support from Haxay! Okay, you loud and clear, team. Hacking pod is coming. Better stand back. The hacking pod has landed. Hook it up to the power station so the hacking can begin. Patrol a scrapyard, you toaster! Down it goes! Ooh! <gasps> 
That's it. Connection established. Time to activate the hacking drone. Hackbot! Get to work! Team, it's hacking time. Protect the hacking drone. All clear. The hacking drone is at it again. Lift it up, press her down. Attack. on the hacking drone.
so accurate now, are ya? Help me mind this. Dip light up. I call for the mule. I'm having the best time in my life right now. Go patrol in hell! Caught on legs. Where is it? Down it goes. Help me with the minerals here. Rock seriously need to invest in some better equipment. Send a hacking pod, pretty please. Roger, sending in another hacking pod now. Sorry, little bug. Your own fault for being full of goodies. Where is that damn new? Hacking pod has arrived. Get it connected to the power station. Friggin' hell.
Here I come. So long, suckers! Attack here! We have connection. Hacking part online. Start the hacking when you are ready. So long, suckers! Yeah! Go fetch! Are coming. Axie, you're up. Hacking has commenced. Protect the hacking drone. That's ammunition. Getting supplies.
We need some pest control on the hacking drone. Shield up! Both power stations are down. The vault is only shielded with emergency power now. Get back there and disable it. We're almost in. Shields ready again. Controller is hackable. I'll hack you with my pickaxe next toy. I'm in. Buzz off, Shredder. Take your slow. 
launching face bombs. Those teleporting Ooh. bastards can reach you anywhere. are coming out of the caretaker. Step lively, lads. Cluster grenade. Redder, well. the fire on the caretaker's glowing bit. Ooh. Getting more ammo. Oh, yeah. We got the data rack.
Wally is on the way. This will look good on our performance review. You did it, team. Data rag is secured, and all rival operations in the sector destroyed. Hit the button on the mule when you're ready. Damn good work. Come on home. Drop pods on the way. Hang in there. Drop pod has arrived. The mule has been called back. Drop pod departing in T-minus five minutes. Shield place! in T minus four minutes.